spent a bucket load of money to buy the top selling carbon monoxide detectors on Amazon. And I'm gonna tell you my big takeaway, well, I'm gonna remove all of my existing carbon monoxide detectors and I'm gonna replace it with this one brand. Let's hop into the test. All right, guys, you want to see something incredibly rednecky and yet kind of genius. Hello, little minions. I am coming to you today with the top five carbon monoxide detectors. Yes, as you can see, it is plugged right up against my truck. Now, there's a lot of people out there saying, this is not a good test because there are other particulates such as moisture coming out of your exhaust and those could clog up some of the sensors. I don't know about you guys, but I want that. I want to know if the sensors might get obstructed by something like, let's say for example, moisture. And so that's why I am testing this real world situation. You can see the exhaust pipe is coming in through that hole and it's gonna fill up this whole thing instantaneously when we turn on my truck. We will see which ones go off, which ones do not go off and you'll be able to see based off of the little blinky lights on each of them. Here we go. Fire. Fire. And it just died. One up there doesn't even have a re- Oh, wait, oh, oh, there it goes. They're not actually, oh wait, it, one's finally going off. Boy, that took a while. First of all, this in the lower right, the Kitty smoke and carbon monoxide alarm, that went off uh, before any of the others. And then the second two that kind of went off almost at the same time was this one right up here, also made by Kitty, a carbon monoxide alarm. And then the other one, carbon monoxide alarm, Kitty as well. Those pretty much went off almost at the exact same time. X-Sense right here, that did not go off at all. In addition to first alert, smoke and carbon monoxide alarm didn't go off at all. So as you can see, the Kitty brand does actually work. All three of them did. Hopefully this ragtag field test will save some lives out there. I don't claim to be a scientist. I'm not getting that clean, pure bottle of carbon monoxide and spraying it into the sensors. And that's purposeful. I wish that there were more dirty field tests like this out there telling everybody, well, you know, what if there's particulates in the smoke, or in this case, the moisture pouring out from the exhaust in your car? See, and even right now, there's still some particulates on the sensor, and that guy is still going off. That's awesome. And that is it. I purposefully trashed all of these uh, carbon monoxide sensors so that you don't have to. Hopefully this real world test saves a few lives out there.